Welcome to the Nana Church's show. We are here at the Hilton Universal City where we are going to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Merge Summit. And we are super excited. We are here to celebrate talent. We are here to mingle with talent in Hollywood, both in the music world, the film world, and mingling with faith as well. So you want to come in. We're going to be doing loads and loads and loads of interviews. So come in with me. Come in, come in, come in. So tonight they will be honoring Steve Harvey and um, two other people that I'll give their names to you later. But then this is where they're going to be interviewed. We have a lot of press here. And thankfully, the Nana Checha show is also here all the way from London, as I said. And um, we're going to be here. And this is where we're standing. You can see. So we're here celebrating 10 years of the Merge Summit. And I'll be telling you a lot more about it. So stay tuned. What's happening, beautiful people? It's Major Mr. This is why I love you. And we're rocking with the Nana Church's show. My life is better with you in it. Yeah. Right. Welcome to the Nana Church show, the Merge 10th anniversary special. And guess who I am with? <laughs> the one and only Pastor Devon Franklin, right? Hey, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, I want you to tell me, first of all, 10 years of the Merge. What do you think? I think it's amazing. And I think that we're literally here, which is an evidence that faith works and that God is real. For the Merge to have made it 10 years is amazing. And I'm so grateful to be here to celebrate. So you are in Hollywood and normally to the world when you're in Hollywood and you have faith it's a bit shaky because mm -hmm. you know you know the norms of Hollywood and in the film industry or the entertainment industry so you being a pastor a producer mm -hmm. uh, um, I mean, I'm not really a pastor. I don't have a church. You know, my younger, my yeah. younger brother is a pastor. I'm more like a preacher. You're you know? a preacher. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. so there's a difference between a preacher and a pastor? Very different. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm going to be learning from that because, yeah. you know, when we see a preacher, automatically we say you're a pastor. Oh, so, yeah. Well, so. yeah. Over here, it's a difference because, like, okay. for me, it's, it's, if I had a church, then I would take on that title. But because okay. I don't, I never want to disrespect the, the uh, title okay. of a pastor. Okay. You know, now I may do things that kind of pastor people, but I never want to take that on um, because I don't want to just do a disservice to those who do that every day. Okay. You know, my younger brother's a pastor. That's his profession. That's what he does, you know, okay. so I respect that, okay. you know, because sometimes people love to just wear the title, yes. but they aren't actually doing the work. Okay. And I never want to fall in that category. Oh, that is, yeah. that, that is something that we blend, we blend today because as I said, you know, when we say pastor, preacher, so yeah. us, we see you standing in front of a congregation and, and delivering the but word. But see, here's the thing. Yes. There's a difference between even though pastors preach yeah. there are some pastors who don't preach and they still pastor because pastoring really is about how you care for the people that God has given you you could be a great preacher and a terrible pastor <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. or you could be a great you could be a great pastor and a terrible preacher oh wow sometimes we associate the two but technically one doesn't necessarily include the other all the time that is wisdom I'm learning <laughs> so let's talk about your books you've done um, the Hollywood Commandments yep Wait yep and the latest one. The truth about men. The what women, what men and women men. need to know. <laughs> yes. So, aren't any men stalking you and saying, why are you telling the women the truth about <laughs> us? <laughs> uh, yeah, a couple of them say that and I'm like, you know what? Time's up. We got to do our work. You know what I mean? We got to get out of the shadows. We got to come into the light. And guess what? It's hard work, but it's good work. Why? Because when we come into this, the light and we stop operating in the shadows and we allow our truth, the Bible says the truth will set us free. And I believe the same is the case with us as men. So what made you what made you want to write this book? You know, a number of reasons made me want to write the book. Um, you know, when I see what's going on with men in the world, I really want to talk about what's happening and, and, a, and a solution to it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what inspired me to write the book. And I had to go deep inside. I had to reveal things I've never talked about publicly, you know, about my own struggles as a man, about my family struggle, my father. So I really went deep inside as a way to help other people hopefully get free. All right. So I know this is your latest book, but whilst I'm here, we in London, we're like, okay, the wait, we know there's so many young um, adults out there who want to marry and you're saying, wait, and you're asking you, why do you want us to wait? 
You know what? Waiting is an individual and a personal choice. Um, we talked about waiting just to kind of articulate and to highlight what we did. Why it's important to wait is that in my experience, um, we, when we date, we sometimes can be, have more security on our phone than we have on our body. You know, so if, if somebody you didn't know came and grabbed your phone, you would never give it to them. Yeah. No, that's my phone. But when it comes to our body, we sometimes have less security on that. Okay. And what I have noticed is that over time we accumulate damage. It weighs on our soul, it weighs on our spirit, it weighs on our esteem. So the weight is just another way. Oh, okay. It's just a way to say, hey, if you're looking to do something different, here's another way. Oh, okay. Not gonna preach that you have to do it, not gonna say, you you know, if you don't, here, here's another way. That's all it is. Thank you so much and enjoy your evening. Thank you, Thank appreciate you. it. Yes, so I'm here on, should we say green carpet or red carpet? <laughs> the carpet. Yes, wait, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, tell me your full name, please. Okay, let's see. I am Jonathan Slocum. 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 Yay. So, Jonathan, you are the MC for tonight. I am. How does that feel? It, that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a host yes. for television and um, live events, and I've been doing it forever. Forever? When you say forever, how long? Long time. Long, 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 time, time. long time. I'm trying to figure out your age, even though you look very young. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm, I'm mature. You're mature. Okay, so you're here. You know, we know that the Merge Summit is about faith and entertainment. and What's your thoughts on that? I've uh, been doing it for more than 10 years. Yeah. Um, I, I stepped out on faith as a comedian first. Okay. And I'm a black man doing comedian that's clean and wholesome and non-offensive and no profanity, no sex. It's kind of merging. Yeah. So when, when I made my first appearance on the HBO Deaf Comedy Jam, it kind of opened the doors for all of us comedians to do different things. So now I host everything because people like a great host yeah. to keep a program going. So whether it be for the Merge Summit or for an organization or for a political campaign or even for a church, okay, that's what I do. So tonight, are you going to bring some comedy in your hosting? Of course, that's yeah. why I'm here. Yeah. I, I, there's no way I can't do it. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Now I'm a host as well, but I haven't done it for a long time. Like uh -huh. yourself. I got you. what, what, what tip do you have for me? What tip I have yeah. for you? Just to be uniquely you. You know, you, you're not a comedian. Yeah. So you, it would be um, hard for you to try to do what somebody else does. Exactly. But just be yourself. And I'm sure that when you're called upon, it's because of their knowledge of who you are and what you bring to the table. So just do you, baby boo. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jonathan. I enjoy your evening. Thanks so much. So I'm here with Al Alfred Nixon, and Alfred, tell me who you are. Well, I I heard of you, but sometimes we want to tell the world, especially the Londoners and the Africans, who you are. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 19. I'm 25 now, and I've been been an entrepreneur for a very young age and up until where I'm at now. When you say entrepreneur, what kind of businesses do you do? Um, I'm in the industry of network marketing. Network marketing, it does over $200 billion a year in sales. And I'm one of the top, you know, youngest top earners in that industry. So network marketing is my profession. And you're a fake man or a guy, a fake guy as well. Huh? Are you a fake guy? You absolutely, are. absolutely. We've been fortunate enough um, because of the industry that we're in and the success we've had, uh, we've been able to be end time investors in our church where we fund our mission trips and help empower and spread our knowledge with, through our ministry. So uh, we're definitely huge on that for sure. Wow, a nine, you were 19 when you started. Most 19 year olds go partying, you know, doing drugs and all that. How come you were so focused? Uh, because we was very, you know, we was, we was, my family was struggling and I felt like I was the person that was going to be able to bring my family out to get to that next level. And, and it was, you know, motivating for me to do that, being around the right people and wanting to have the success. So it was motivating for me at a very young age. And I felt like I had to take the ownership of my family to get them out of that area. That is awesome, Alfred. And you're here at the Merge celebrating 10 years. Absolutely. Have you ever attended the Merge? Oh, no. This is actually my first time coming first to the event. 10 years. 10 years is my first time coming to the event. It's such a blessing to be here. I mean, especially honoring someone like Steve Harvey and Maxine Waters. I mean, it's definitely a privilege to be here for sure. 
enjoy your evening. Uh, thank you so much. Thank for you so me. much. And all the best in the other success. Uh, thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Take care. Thank you. Playing the red carpet, green carpet, whatever name you want to call it, <laughs> celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Merge Summit. And I'm so blessed and privileged to be here, standing here with First Lady Dr. Shalanda Crawford and Pastor Shep Crawford. Pastor, you know, so Pastor and First Lady Messes as well. And I'm so blessed to be in the mess. So, what brings you here, Pastor? Hey, we are here uh, to merge. Yeah. Um, you know, to, um, I think it's great bringing how. Hollywood and the faith base together. Um, I think it gives knowledge to the faith base who are, who are creative and, and want to get their message and, and, and films and different things out there. And a good um, for us to also affect Hollywood and Hollywood to affect us. We can get some things from them, they can get some things from us. I happen to be a part of both, so I'm happy here. Let's merge. Yay. To merge, yeah. merging faith and entertainment. Yeah. So first lady, yes. um, I know you were with Pastor coming to support that what do you think of faith and entertainment I think that they go well together um, as human beings just as people we need to be entertained right we yeah. need to put a little spice in life and then we also have to keep our faith in order to stay above ground so I say let's merge in entertainment and submerge ourselves in the faith to keep it all afloat I like That's that I, I like that I like that so what do you want to tell they're gonna be honoring Steve Harvey I'm a fan of Steve Harvey. Yeah. I guess you are. Yeah, that's I, our second man right there. Oh, he he yeah. keeps a smile on my face and a laugh in my heart. Awesome, yeah. awesome. What What do you want to tell him? I want and to tell the him. other honorees. Well, okay, we'll start with Steve. Steve, I would like to tell you, please continue to do what you do. Not just by making us laugh, but just the way you live your life. It's a very encouraging life. You, you empower us with the knowledge that we really can go on and do as much as we want. And we want to be like you with 5,000 jobs. We want to do that too. Yes, I, I want to be five. I have 5,000 jobs. Right, right. Pastor, what do you want to say? Um, you know, it's the same thing. We love what he's doing. You know, um, people like Maxine Waters, we love what she's doing. The bishop is here. Yeah. I mean, it's good. You know, I'm going to look forward to sitting and listening to them receive yeah. their award and, and tell us stories and different things that will inspire us as we're trying to get to the point where we are affecting the world as God has planned for us to do. Thank you so much and enjoy your evening. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you did the same. I've got the one and only Molly Music here. Molly, you're going yes, to be sir. performing tonight. Yes, ma'am. They're calling me. I'm excited. We're yes. going to be singing. I'll be doing the tribute and singing to everybody at the end. And the merge, you are here. How excited is that? It means a lot. Ten years ago was my first time here and first time in L.A. Holly Carter let me sing on the showcase and it blew my career up. So when she called me and was saying, Molly, you know, it's 10 years. Are you open? So you've been I coming for 10 years. Out. Well, I came the first two times. Okay. And then me and Holly came into business together. She managed me and, and took my career to a whole nother level. Oh, wow. So it's cool. And I'm just paying old to her for helping me. Oh, that is exciting. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And I will be listening to you. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. So the Nana Chacha Show is special from London, and I'm super excited to be standing with these three beautiful, amazing, fabulous ladies, the brains behind the Marriage Summit, and congratulations on your 10th anniversary. Thank you. So I'm going to start with Dr. Robin. So <laughs> please, <laughs> please tell tell us the idea, you know, what made the three of you come together? And well, Holly, I've known and loved for many, 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 many years. She's my sister. She's my best my Hollis and this God gave her this vision okay. and she shared it with me and of course it didn't take me long to say yes whatever you do want to do I'm there with you to help oh. you see the vision through and lift you up so that's why I'm here thank you and because I know I'm gonna cross over yeah I mean uh, Holly asked me I, I started off as a board member for the merge because the first time I came and participated in it I just absolutely loved it and I had all these ideas and so Holly asked me to be on the board and then and I had more ideas, and so she eventually asked me to co-chair it. And honestly, I had been praying about 
how I could use what I did for a living, which is my platform of working in TV, uh, with God. And this is what God gave me, and I'm just incredibly grateful. This is my pleasure and my honor to, to support the vision of these two women. Dr. Holly, right. Yes. So you have these two wonderful women supporting you. You hide this idea. Many people get ideas and it all, you know, especially if you're a Christian. So what was the, the final push for you to say, I'm going to do this? I heard the Lord say I was supposed to do it, you know, and once I got the guts and know that what he said was true, I just moved. Sometimes you have to step out on faith and that's what I did. You're a faith lady, but sometimes you say you have to move with faith, but sometimes too, you move and you don't see things happening. That's right. Were you discouraged at one point? Oh, yes. I mean, there have been times when I'm like, God, are you sure? Um, but then his response was yes. I never go back on my word. And so we stay with it. It is, it is a labor of love. It is it takes a lot of time, a lot of planning, a lot of pulling on relationships, but God delivers every time. Even though we sometimes feel like fainting in the process, He comes through. He comes through. We in the Christian world, you know, sometimes people think if you're a believer, you're supposed to go that way. And when we merge Hollywood, especially in the movie industry or the music industry, and then it comes to faith, people have a very interesting perception. What do you want to tell people out there? Maybe let me start with you. I'm sorry. It started with your setting. Okay. Okay. I mean, I think that's why we do this event. Yeah. It's, it's, it is literally the reason why we do this event because we want people to understand that ministry can take many forms. And for us, it just happens to be in the world of entertainment. And so you can't get discouraged you, just because you feel like you've been called. It doesn't mean you have to actually pastor a church, you know, or, or, or only work in the church. And so we're just trying to make people understand that there is a way to merge these two things and to not lose your faith in God and not lose who you are in God if you want to work in entertainment. Doctor, your final yes. word. Your final my, word. My final word is uh, I think that there are people of faith in Hollywood and those people that are of faith in Hollywood, our assignment is to pay it forward, bring more believers to the culture and help impact the culture. Thank you. Okay. And Dr. Urban, your final word. So that you have to, if the God gave you a vision, if God gave you a promise, hold on to it because he does not go back on his word. Thank and you, you believe so that, hold on to it. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you. I am so honored and privileged to be standing with Congresswoman Max Waters. Thank you. And uh, my question to you is, as a woman and a yes. black woman, yes. how does it feel to see other black women succeeding, and especially Holly, Dr. Robin, and um, the other colleague, you know, doing wonderful things with Emerge? Well, uh, let me just say this. Uh, black women certainly inspire other women. Yeah. And uh, whether we take a look at what's happening here uh, this evening with the women here, or whether we think about those women in Alabama who decided that they were just going to organize and they were going to vote uh, and get other people to vote so that they could choose the right senator uh, to represent them. Uh, black women have the ability to inspire uh, because of what we encounter in our lives. And we know a lot. And so I see more of that happening now. Uh, black women are taking a bigger leadership. More black women are running for office. And so I think that this uh, event this evening is an indication of what is happening with black women. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy your evening. Okay, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. How are you, beautiful? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Great, I'm great, great, great. So you were here at the Merge celebrating 10 years. That's right, that's of right. Merge and Faith and Hollywood. What is this What is this platform? What's the name I'm of your... Nana Church show yeah. from London. And London. Africa. Yes. Listen, Nigeria where? where Ghana. We're from Ghana. Yes. Listen, I have a connection with the people from Ghana. Like, okay. I, 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 I'm, I need to check my DNA, the, okay. the history to see if I'm, if I'm a native. I mean, I got it in my bloodline, I should say. Okay. But but um, it's very special uh, because Ghana has showed me so much love. The UK has shown me so much love for my song. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Because you love me. Hallelujah. Hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I yeah. love that. I love yeah. it. So what brings you here tonight? I know we celebrate. Listen, listen. Well, my name is Major and I'm a, a pop soul recording artist. And uh, I happen to be one of the performers for tonight okay. on the Art and Out Showcase uh, sponsored by at and I'm super excited about it. I'm honored. Um, I have a special place in my heart for, um, for Merge because uh, a few years back, I competed in the New Artist Showcase okay. and uh, it opened doors for me with the BET Music Matters program. And now the rest is history. Rest we got songs history. on the radio, songs wow. being played in Ghana wow. and, and, and Nigeria all okay. over. And I'm, I'm grateful. Okay. So after everything, we're going to have your DNA and I think you're a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm here with Dim Dash at the Merge 10th anniversary. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So what brings you here? Um, Holly executive produced uh, the next big thing. Okay. And I work for her now, so whatever she tells me to do, I do. Uh, whatever she tells <laughs> A very strong, powerful, black, beautiful woman. Yes, yes, she is. And so, merging faith and Hollywood, What's your thoughts on it? Oh, you got to have faith to get through Hollywood because we have to create our own lane. So you have to have faith in yourself and faith in the right thing and honesty always prevailing. Right. and Especially same, in Hollywood. Especially in the dream in black. What's your thoughts on dream in black? I mean, that means we in profit. Black always means profit. Okay. So I never think in the red. I always think in the black. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Yes, on the Nana Checha show, I have Kaylin here with me at the Merge, the 10th Summit. What do you think of it? Oh my goodness, I love this. I love an ability to be around my peers, to see people that, you know, have the same faith, that think like me, and that believe in the same things I do, and we share the same kind of values. I just love that. Wonderful. So tell me a little bit about your show. Yes, okay, so I work at the Ellen DeGeneres Show. Okay. I, I'm Ooh. talent there, yes. I have my own show called Owen Kaylin's, basically a variety show. So I do a plethora of things you know all right tell me no i want to know more like Mm -hmm. Do you interview celebrities? Tell yes, me about I do. the show. Okay, so I, I I do a lot of things on my show. I do things like giving tips to millennials about you know class tips or something like that. I do a lot of stuff with food. Most people know me from my food reaction videos. But then also for the show, I uh, interview celebrities on red carpets. I go and do things by debuting premieres and stuff like that. Yeah. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So we are, the man just celebrating ten years. Yes. How exciting! Yes. Place. And tonight, wh who do you want to see? Who are you coming to support or see? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm actually, and I think she was here yesterday night. I'm friends with Michelle Williams, you okay. know, um, from Destiny's Child. And so I, I was here to see her. And so I was so excited to see her. But I'm just excited to see people, you know, that look like me, that think like me, and that are around my age, you know? Thank you so much and enjoy your Of evening. course. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. We're still here celebrating the marriage, the 10th anniversary. How yes. exciting is that? It's super exciting. It's a blessing, you know, for this to be here 10 years and for me to be a part of it is incredible. So, um, How long have you been attending the marriage? This is actually my first year. I've heard about it for a while, but this is my first time attending as well as being an invited guest. So I'm excited. I'm All right. Excited. So tell me who Tia P is. Who is Tia P? Tia yeah. P is an artist, a rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, uh, TV show person, uh, BET's yeah. next big thing, Aaron oh, in October. Wow. So I'm going to be on that. And for today's events, I'm going to be performing as well as be a panelist for the show. Well, so. that's exciting. Yeah. Enjoy your evening and thank you. You too. And I love this. You this love is that? beautiful. I'll make one for you. Please do. I'm still, so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blushing because I'm here with a beautiful, beautiful, cute lady. <laughs> Tell me who you are. Hey guys, I'm Jante Godlock from the Simone Biles story. <laughs> when you were casted for the story, for the Simone Biles story, how did you feel? Um, I felt amazing, you know, especially because everyone's like, you look like, look, you look like that one gymnast. You look like Simone Biles. So to be casted as her was just a dream come true. It, was, oh, wow. it opened so many doors for me. Talking about dreams, you know, we're, we're saying dream in black. Oh, yeah. So um, what does that mean to you, dream in black? You know, 
Okay. I, okay. I, and you know what? I, because I feel like it just means so much to so many different people. But for me, honestly, when I close my eyes and I see what I want and I open it, I go get it. So if that's my dream in black, that's what it is for me. I close my eyes, I see what I want, I open my eyes and I go get it. Go get it. And you are here at the Merch Summit. They're celebrating 10 years. Oh yeah, Have you ever great. been? I've been before. I, I think I came to the Merch like maybe three years ago. Okay. Yeah. Were you an actress then? Oh yeah, I was oh, an actress were, okay. there then, but I was just doing small stuff, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so tonight you're here for the concert as well? Yes. And uh, yes. who are you willing to see? Um, you know, I like Terrence J. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, he's okay. hosting, she's, I think. She's here. All right, then. All right. Yeah. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, thank, thank you so, you much. so much. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We are celebrating young talent here at the Merge 10th anniversary, the Merge Summit. And I have this wonderful, wonderful young man. Tell me your name. Brandon James Roy. Brandon James Roy. I love your name. Thank you. So tell me, Brandon, what you do. Well, I'm an actor and I'm a modeler. They're very fun. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. You love it? Love it. Oh, you love it. All right. You know they say dream in black? What does that mean to you? Dreaming black. That means to me, it means like support black culture and dream big. And dream big. Yes, ma'am. Are ma you dreaming big? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you are here at the Merge Summit. And who are you excited to see? Actually, I'm excited to see everybody. Everybody. Give me a high five. I like that. I like that. Saw you in this big movie coming out. Tell me the movie's name. The movie's name is Her Only Choice. Uh -huh. Actually, it's already out. Uh, it's it's out. on BET Her. It's on BET Her. Yes, ma'am. And are you excited about that? Very excited. So which of the awards are you really looking forward to receive one of these days? I'm really looking forward to receiving an Oscar. An Oscar. He is going to get an Oscar. Did you get that? Right. I know you would, and I look forward to interview you when you receive it. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. So I have my beautiful, pretty lady here. Tell me your name. Seven Fella Toy. Yes. And tell, do you mind telling me your age? I am nine years old. Nine years old. That's awesome. So what brings you to the Meg Summit? What brings me here is that like it's really fun going to red carpets and I just love it. And I love getting interviews and going to take pictures with everyone and meeting new people. Oh, meeting new yes. and meeting me. Yes. Yeah. So tell me some of the movies you've starred in. I I've actually done background more work, but I'm trying to like take more auditions. So I've been for the background I've been in teachers, I've been in Jane the Version, I'm going to be in Annabelle 3 next week. I've done teachers and single parents. Oh wow, you're very, very, very busy. Yes. Very busy. Okay, so enjoy your evening, okay? Thank you. you enjoy your evening too. I have another beautiful, beautiful lady. Tell me your name. Tabai. Tabai. So what brings you to the merge? Um, I'm doing a runway. I'm taking photos. Oh, you're taking, oh, so you're doing the red carpet yes. and talking to me. Yes. All right, tell me some of the movies you starred in. Um, I did some, I did one recent commercial. Okay. But I don't know the name yet. And I did one runway before. And I am a Polynesian dancer for Nonacina. Oh, wow. Do you believe in dreams? Yes. You believe in dreams. So what is one of your biggest dreams? I really want to be an actor. You are an actor already. <laughs> Wow, she's an actor already and she won. So one day I will interview you for receiving an Oscar, right? Yes. Yes, it's a big deal. Thank you. We are still here at the Merge celebrating 10 years. Yes. And how do you feel? This is amazing. I'm very honored to be a part of this today. It's a lot of great people, a wonderful panelist, and I was able to moderate the Visionaries 
panel, which featured all the showrunners. It was awesome. I got so excited. So I didn't even let you tell our audience who you are. I know who you are, but it's I fun. want you to tell our audience who you are. No worries. So my name is Mitzi Miller. I am the head of development for Rainforest Entertainment. I am the former editor-in-chief of Jet and Ebony magazines. We are also celebrating black women and they're, they're saying oh, we have to dream black. Okay. What does dreaming black mean to you? It means seeing color everywhere I go. You know, sometimes I hear people say, I don't see color. Then you don't see me. Dreaming black means that myself, my community, my culture is integrated into every, everywhere that I go and anything that I do. In your career, how many young women have walked up to you and say, I want to be like you? It's such, I mean, it's so flattering. More than I can count, but I always tell them, don't be me, be better than me. I'm just here to open the door. Wow. I want you to tell us just, just one powerful statement that you stand for. One powerful statement. Yeah. Life is for the living. This isn't a dress rehearsal. This is all we have. So you should be present every single day, go 100% at everything that you feel passionately about and believe thoroughly in yourself. Wow, I am so, so privileged to be standing with Rissi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Welcome to the Nana Cheche Show special. I am super excited. You know, we came here to the States to celebrate 10 years, 10 years of the Merge Summit. And the one person that we all wanted to meet is finally here, Dr. Holly Carter. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You look beautiful. Thank you. Always. Thank you. So, you know, you are a mother, you are a wife, you are a woman of God. How do you package all that and be the woman that you are? Well, it's not easy. Um, but thank God with faith and balance and a village, uh, I get it all done. When you say village? I have a village of uh, people that support, that love, that pray for me, that, you know, hold up the bloodstained banner for me. Um, and that helps me manage the load of the vision that God has given me. So we're talking now, you've talked about vision and the vision is something that in this day generation, people don't really, you know, we get up, we want to do whatever everyone, everybody is doing. How have you been able to really mark this vision? Uh, you know what, with prayer, persistence and, and purpose, I really have been focused on, you know, God, what is it that you want me to do? show me how you want me to get it done and put the people in my path to help move and execute the vision. And you know, God, step by step, answers the questions. Right, a little bit is asking me, okay, Nana, you just zoomed in, but who is the real Dr. Holly? Uh, the real Dr. Holly is a mother, uh, a wife, um, a God sister, a mentor, um, fun loving, silly, I love to dance, like ballet, jazz, hip hop, yeah, yeah, yoga, yeah. all yes. of that good stuff. Um, and classy. Uh, and okay, and classy. Yeah. And, yes, and, yes, and yes, a worshiper. Yes. Oh yes. And a worshiper. And I love to dress. You love to dress. Shoes. I'm loving your shoes. And purses <laughs> are my favorite. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. And I follow you and sometimes I see you cook and have fun with the kids. How is it you are able to, you know, have this fun with the kids and still do what you do. Oh, because I have to. I mean, that keeps me grounded. It keeps me rooted. It keeps me happy. It keeps me young. And uh, I couldn't do it without doing that. That's okay. a part of who I am. Okay. So now let's come to the Merge. The Merge Summit. When, when did you have this vision? Uh, you know, like 13 years ago. The Lord gave me the vision 13 years ago. I sat on it for three years because I thought it was too massive. And fast forward, here we are. 2018 and this is year 10 and I did it because the Lord gave me the vision for believers who wanted to have access to Hollywood but didn't have the connections and so that's what the merge is all about it's about giving opportunity to creative believers to impact Hollywood have you always always been that believer that wants to you know support other believers because you know as you said you had the vision but you sat on it for three years and sometimes people think, okay, I'm going to share this dream or this vision to another person and it's not going to work. 
Um, you know what? It's about paying it forward. You know, as you bless others, God blesses you. So it's for me, it's a principle. Okay. And so give me maybe five of your principles so I will learn. Oh, yeah. I, um, you know, one of my principles uh, is um, commitment, uh, dedication, relationship maintenance. It's, it's really important to maintain, manage, and cultivate my relationships. I'm a stickler on relationships. Um, the other thing is that I I value time. I value my my family time. I value my husband. I value my time that I give to my church. And I think balance. I think you know balance is usually important in a life like mine or anybody else's that God has given a lot to do because to whom much is given, much is required. But in all of that giving and getting, there has to be balance. And so balance, commitment, you know, valuing relationships, dedication to the vision and having a prayer life. And having a prayer life. So um, this whole weekend, if I can say, we learned about dreaming black. Why did you theme it Dream Black? Well, that's really AT&T's thing. Okay. And, but it connected so much with the merge that I thought it was important because it is about dream. You know, it is about your vision. Without a vision, people perish. Once the Lord gives you something and you think about that thing and you meditate on that thing and you, you know, commit that thing to the Lord, then his responsibility is to establish it. And so it's important to be a dreamer. I am a dreamer. And it is, yeah, and listen, and because of my dreams, you know, here we are today. Yes. And so I've got bigger dreams and I'm going after more. And I just, I want to be able to bless more people, to expand the message of the merge and to bring more believers into Hollywood. So I know you say you're going for more. And I mean, the merge has been very successful. I'm, my first year, I had a fabulous time. And then I'm so privileged to come to the third year. And so do you, you know, make sense, okay. Let me sit back and watch what's going to happen. Uh, yes, I do. I do that often. I do that often. Sometimes I'm, even in planning this, I'm like, God, you got to do this. It's a lot this year. So much going on. It was in between of a, a lot of my productions. And at one point I was like, oh gosh, can I do this? And then the other point I was like, yes, I can. Yes, you can. I'm so privileged to meet you and interview you. But Thank you. I want you to give one big tip for mothers out there who will be watching you for um, pastors' wives or ministers, women ministers who are thinking, oh, I can't, I can't, I just want to be a prayer woman, but not a business woman. Well, I think we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us, you know, and again, I go back to the gift that God has given us. God has given us many things. And even if we do take, make the decision to be a mother and not pursue business, there's still something that is uh, enterprising in motherhood that when we are raising our children that we should uh, create unique ways around raising them and being a mom and that's a business too oh, so wow. I really feel like jumping. being a yeah being a mom is a business my daughter is 15 she's been an entrepreneur since she was 11 and I made sure that she found something that she liked she got in it and I worked it so you know I, I feel like as mothers, uh, the Bible says charity begins at home. Everything that I do starts at home first, and then I pay it forward. So to mothers out there that think that, you know, you're just, um, you know, secure to the home, make that home a creative place, a business place, and let the Lord drop in you visions. And once you get those visions and dreams, commit them to the Lord, come up with a plan, find a village to help work your plan, and then go after it. Thank you so much Thank you. and God bless God you. God bless you too. Thank you. And that was Dr. Holly. It's been a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, Friday and Saturday at the Merge Summit celebrating 10 years. And I tell you, mixing faith and Hollywood. Oh my God, those who came, they learn a lot and I have learned a lot. Make sure next time when there's a Merge Summit, you don't want to miss it. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome blessed day.